Hey guys, it's Amber, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my channel and to a what you warming video, which is my home fragrance roundup where I go over empties and other things that I've been using and using up. Um, I usually do it every two, it ends up being every two weeks. I think this time is three weeks, so there's a lot. Um, as always, I do um, non-wax items first. And then I'll move into the wax. Um, some of it isn't, well, a couple of them. I'm trying to even see. I think I have two that aren't scentsy. Um, so I, it'll be mixed up with everything else. I was going to say I would do that before my scentsy bars, but it's only a couple and it's mixed in. So it is what it is. Um, so I have been participating in... Um, the wax melting challenge, and there will be a few from November, um, as well as the beginning of December, because I was still finishing up November last time I did a video, <laughs> my warming video. Um, so it'll be a mixture of both, but I have both lists here. So hopefully I'll remember what's what and all that good stuff. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm looking to see if there's, yeah, I don't have too many things that aren't wax, but I did finish up a car bar in, what is this even? Coconut lemongrass. I'm not a huge fan of this scent. I just happen to have it. Um, it's completely scentless now. It was in my husband's vehicle. Um, they're good. They last a little bit longer. I usually still use scent circles over car bars. But car bars do last slightly longer than the scent circles do. I actually prefer the mini fan diffusers um, over all those things. But speaking of which, so our mini, our fan diffuser systems, there's a bunch of different ones. Our new tabletop fan, I have one, you can't see it, but I have it here on my computer desk. A mini fan diffuser and a um, wall fan diffuser and our air purifier and our Sensi Go. They use these things called the Sensi Paws. They come in two packs. The mini fan only uses one, but all the other can use two if you want. And they're these plastic encasings that have little scent beads in them. And this one I used up is Blue Grotto and then also Scarlet Sunflower. Both are nice scents for sure. So I got through those. Okay, on to wax. I'm gonna try and do the Melting Challenge ones first. So let's jump into it. This was a December, this was December 3rd, Melt and Evergreen scent. So I did Disney Season of Magic. So I did that one. Not my favorite evergreen, but I did want to use some of that. So I did that one. Um, next, this is, what was this? Um, December 9th, choose a festive shape wax melt, which I didn't have, or something that starts with a D. So I did this one, Desert Rock and Citron. It was from the Father's Day collection. Um, then I did, let's see. This is December 7th, melt a uh, blue or white wax. I did Disney Cinderella. Happily Ever After, it is a pretty blue color. Then this is Blue Christmas. This one I did for, what was it? December 6th, was, which was melt a sweaty, soy, or scoopable wax. So Blue Christmas was a little on the sweaty side. I had one cube left of that, so I used that one up. Okay, next is Chase Rainbows Blue, and this was for, it was one that was like an obvious one. It was one about a color. <laughs> Where was this? There it is, December 5th. So it is Melt Something with a Color in its name. So blue, perfect choice. Then we have, this was December, um, this one was very close. Where was this? Uh, December 8th, melt a scent that makes you think of a song. This one seemed obvious to me, an obvious choice. So Silver Bells 
and it is in the tester, so you will see some testers. Um, they are perfectly, perfect, um, you are perfectly able, I can talk, you are perfectly able to use these as, um, you know, wax melts. I had a bunch of old ones that I'm trying to get through, so you just pop them out. You can turn it over into your dish, and then it will eventually just fall out, um, but... Uh, I also have like a little spatula thing to where I can pop out the wax. So that's what I usually do. Uh, so you'll see a few of these in this month's challenge. Speaking of which, so this one was December 2nd. Melta sent you associate with holiday decorating and I did Christmas cottage. Then this one was not part of any challenge. I just melted this in my bedroom here. It is from Goose Creek. It used to be one of my like absolute favorite like bedroom melts, but my I noticed my nose has changed since the last time I got this and I don't like it as much anymore. It was still good. I didn't dislike it, but I probably won't ever repurchase this again. And that is warm and welcome. It's a sandalwood, vanilla, uh, marshmallowy type scent. Okay, next is, I know I used this for one of the days. I think this was in, hmm, I don't know. Was this part of November's Harry Potter's Gryffindor Bravery and Determination? Um. I think I used this in November's, but I'm not seeing it. Did I use it in? I can't remember when I used this. No, I'm not there yet. I used this for a day and I cannot find, I don't know. I have no idea. I used this up somehow. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I actually did not use this up. I had one cube in this one and I had another bar that was, did not have um, a full amount of cubes in the clamshell. So I was like, why am I keeping both of them when this only has one cube? So I took the cube out of here and put it in another, another one. So I actually didn't melt that. I forgot I did that. Okay, so this is from November's Melting Challenge, which was uh, November 25th. Uh, small business Saturday melt something from a local or independent vendor. So I went with Sassy Girl Aroma, Rise of Fall, which is Cider Lane, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookies, and Marshmallow. Mainly get the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles in that one. December 1st was melt a scent that starts with R or P for Rosa Parks Day. I did Palo Santo. Very ashy uh, wood scent. I don't hate it. I know some people hate it, but I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I wouldn't go out of my way to um, buy it or melt it. But I, like I said, with the in the past with the wax melting challenge, it helps me to use up fragrances that I don't reach for because I don't necessarily love them. Oh, I used up uh, Pods in Forever Fall, too, which is part of the Harvest Collection. Not sure if you can still get those, but it's a very, like, squashy pumpkin brown sugar scent. Um, okay, so this was November 30th, Melt a Pie Scent, Coconut Pumpkin Pie. I finished that one up. Then we have, um, let's see... I know this was for, what was this for? This was a November scent, but I'm not seeing it. Where is this? I don't know, maybe I just used it <laughs> downstairs. I messed up because I'm not seeing it. My favorite fall scent, which is Autumn Road Trip. Love this one. It is available in the catalog now. Fresh pear, fresh apple, and silver oak. It's so good. 
And this one I do know I used in November, Quiver. This was for day 28, Melt Something Musky or Manly. This is a musky feminine scent. Um, very sultry, perfumey scent. I like it. I think it's good. And then we have Harbor's Edge. This was November, I just saw it, November 27th, which is Cyber Monday, free wax day, melt whatever you want. So Harbor's Edge, one of my absolute favorites as well. It's in my club. So good, so good. This is an aquatic berry beach grass type scent. So nice, um, salty. Uh, let's see. This was for the 29th tree up, melt an evergreen scent, tree not up, melt a pumpkin scent. I had at least one tree up. I do have multiple trees because I love Christmas. Um, so I chose red berry and spruce. This is no longer available. It used to be in the catalog. I think last fall, winter was the last catalog season it was in. Before that, it was a sense of the season scent. Um, brand new then. That was like two or three years ago, but I love it. It's a very like berry, like cranberry, holly, berry. Actually, I think it's holly berry, cassis. Um, and very mild um, evergreen notes. So pretty. Uh, then let's see. This was for Happy Thanksgiving, November 23rd. Cranberry Garland. I always do Cranberry Garland well while I have it. It's no longer in my club. And I don't love it as much as I used to, unfortunately. Or fortunately, because it's not in my club anymore. But I will melt it on Thanksgiving till I don't have any more. I, I also melt it in the winter as well. So like the Thanksgiving day is kind of like the start of me melting it. Okay. Next is... I thought I just saw this. Eh, spiced Ember Glow. Uh, oh, there it is. Was the 19th of November. Pick, pick a weather is chilly scent. So I thought this one would be good. It's like a, uh, like a roasted apple sm or smoked vanilla and some spices. It's so pretty. No longer available in the catalog. Forever Fall. This was... November 26th, melt something that was gifted to you. This was gifted to me by Sensi at a Sensi Family Reunion in July. So then we have, I finished a bar of Tahitian Twilight just here in my bedroom. Then I did, let's see, November 20th, melt a scent that reminds you of being a kid. Of you being a kid, yes. Oh, pink sugarberry mint. I'm really not a fan of this one, but it's kind of a kiddish scent, so I figured that one would be good. Melt a gingerbread scent. That was November 21st. I cannot melt gingerbread scents or ginger scents because I'm allergic. So I did something that kind of kind of gives me bready vibes, and that is toasted acorn and oak. This one's so good. Not in the catalog anymore either. I'm kind of sad I took it out of my club because I was trying to just I was trying to decide between that one and first day of fall. They kind of have the same vibes a little bit. And so I took that one out and now it's gone from the catalog and now I'm sad. So that's okay. Uh, this was day. 24 of November, Black Friday, melt any retail wax. So I found Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Cut Frasier. It's like an orangey um, Christmas tree scent. It It's good. It's kind of um, lost a little of its life, but it's still good. Uh, okay, this was just... Did I use this? I don't think I used this in, yeah, I don't think I used this in, it's, we just used this up. So Catching Z's Collection, Sleep Happy. I think this just got used up in my kid's bathroom. Not a favorite. Usually scents that I really don't like, but still make sense, could make sense in a bathroom. They get uh, relegated to my kid's bathroom because I don't have to smell it as much in that one. 
and it still gets used up. So, and then this one was, was this? I think this was part of, yes, it was. Um, November 18th, which is Melt a Set Scent Fit for a Disney Princess or Mickey Mouse. I went with Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy because she's a fairy princess. Very vibrant, tangy type of fruity scent. Okay, and then I think that's it as far as the countdown goes. I worked on Marshmallow Mint Cocoa Brick. I'm getting close to being done. I'm so happy. I mean, I'm happy just because I'm not a fan of bricks, but I also have bars of this now. Um, if you watched my that one haul video where I, they had, during the fest, festive Friday sales, they had a pick your own bundle for only $20 and they had the scent and I was so excited. So, so anyway, I worked on this and it was delicious. It smells like an Andy's mint to me. It's so yummy. Mint, marshmallow, and cocoa. So it's named the, correctly. <laughs> so, okay. Now let's get into what I melted downstairs. Harry Potter, Hufflepuff, Justin Loyal. So this will be a combo of what I finished up as far as uh, fall scents go and now getting into my winter scents. Then we have Palo Santo and Cinnamon, a much better version of Palo Santo rather compared to the regular Palo Santo. I may, I may get another one of those. I enjoyed it. It's not an absolute love or anything for me. I finished up Fall Into Love, which was fine. It's a fine, fruity, pine type scent. Yeah, it, it's not one I would get again. Um, Hocus Pocus, Sanderson Sisters, Perfectly Wicked. I will definitely use this one again. <sighs> I have this one in my club. This was like my final bar that I melted for fall, for the fall season this year. So good, so good. Then we have caramel chestnuts, amazing. Roasted chestnuts and caramel, it's delicious. That one is in the catalog right now. My website will be in the description for you. Uh, then we have Grandma's Orchard which I got in a flash sale last year or at the beginning of this year or something like that. And it, it's fine. It reminds me a little bit of the um, villains. Uh, what? Evil Queen? <laughs> the villains Evil Queen scent. What is that called? Just One Bite. It's very similar to that, but I think I like Just One Bite better. But this was not something I can get anymore anyway. So, Apple Cherry Strudel. Very strong out of the gate, but it dies down very quickly. It's really good, though. I do enjoy... I'm very picky about cherry, but I love the cherry in this one. Um, it's a very similar cherry to the cherry in Sanderson Sisters, so... I do love that. Then Stroop Waffle Delight. I got this in another festive Friday build your own bundle sale. And it is delicious. Very similar in scent to my nose to pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. Um, it, the base of that is very similar to this. Very good though. Um, very snowy spruce, my favorite Christmas tree scent. Love this one so much. It is available in the catalog now. This is part of the holiday collection wax candy cane, or what is it called? Cranberry candy cane. I didn't really like this one. The cranberry and the candy cane mixed together. It was kind of a weird combination to my nose. Something I do like. Whoop! Breakfast in bed. This is another one I got um, as part of the Festive Friday sale in the Build Your Own Bundle. Mm, so good. So this is kind of similar to Stroop Waffle. Um, like they have the same base. So they both kind of have that pumpkin pecan waffle base. 
but then there's, there, there's extra stuff in this one. Um, there's a raspberry note and some kind of like very, very mild spice and stuff in it. Mm, it's delicious. Okay. I finished up a mint to be merry and this was actually part of the, yeah. Okay. I did this one all around the house. So I have a couple of them, but I did it as part of the challenge too. So it was December 4th, melt a cookie scent. So meant to be merry, delicious, delicious scent for sure. One of my favorites from the Harvest Collection, still available last time I checked, white pumpkin and driftwood. I love the scent so much. It is a white pumpkin. You do get driftwood. And there's a spice in it. I think it was cardamom. It gives it this extra warmth to it. Some people find that very masculine, um, even maybe cologne-y. I do not. I I mean, it is a more, if you were saying, to categorize it, is it a masculine or a feminine scent? I guess it leans more masculine, but it's not, I'm not a big fan of cologne scents, and it doesn't read cologne to me at all. I love it. Um, from the Sensepirations this season, which is Christmas Cottage. This one is Christmas Cottage Cider. This one was good. Um, it has a mold, like a deeper type of mold cider spice to it rather than the regular Christmas Cottage, which is like a red hot cinnamon spice. Speaking of which, Christmas Cottage. Yeah, this one is a brighter red hot spice. Whereas this is a deeper, more mold um, type of spice to it with the cider. My beloved Wassel Wonderland. If you've been with my channel long enough, you know how crazy I am about this scent. This is like my all time favorite Christmas scent. Um, it is in my club, my Scentsy Club, and it will never leave my club. I love it so much. So it is a fresh, juicy, zesty orange, um, very mild cider spice, and um, just a sprig, just a touch of fur needle. And it reminds me of when I was a kid, so I love it. I love it so much. The Holiday Brick, that's available, Holly Jolly Cider, to me is kind of like an apple version of this. So if you're if you're searching for something that's similar, um, check out the Holly Jolly Cider Brick, or you can get it through Club as a Bar, which is what I do. <laughs> so I use a Villains Mistress of Evil. I think I have one bar left of this. Um, it's good. I don't know why they didn't bring this one back because this is the best one in my opinion out of all the Villains bars. Uh, it has gardenia in it and some other things, which I normally am very much anti-gardenia, but this does not smell like gardenia. It does smell like it, there's floral in it. It's like a, almost like a grape candy to my nose. Grape raspberry candy of some kind is so good. I finished, the, what is this? Mandarin Zest in our downstairs powder room. This was part of the I think this is the Easter collection. There was two like orangey scents, one in the Valentine's and one in the Easter collection this year. And I'm pretty sure Mandarin Zest was part of the Easter. The other one was like something Clementine, if I'm remembering. If you remember, put it in the comments for me. Um, Cause yeah, it's nice. Very, it was very light. It's got a very, um, light smell and throw. So I used it in the powder room and it was still pretty light for me there too. Um, another one from the Sensepirations collection. This is Christmas Cottage Mint. Um, it's, it's good. This was maybe, this was the one on cold I thought was going to be my favorite. Warming is probably my second favorite. The one that actually ended up being my favorite. Do I have it in here? Which I didn't really like all that much. I think this is my least favorite on cold. 
is the Christmas Cottage Wreath. But Melting, I ended up liking this one the best, I think, out of all of them. Um, followed by maybe the mint. Uh, this one and the um, cider one are kind of tied. I don't know. Well, uh, I'm not huge into Christmas Cottage to begin with, so... Um, this was, I liked the, the vanilla buttercream Sunspirations better, which was last Christmas's um, collection compared to this one. So I, I won't per repurchase any of these. Um, they were just fine for me. I don't dislike any of them at all. They're just not me. I <laughs> like some of the other new bars better this season. Um, then we have Meat at the Mistletoe, which is this month's scent of the month. This is a very fresh green scent. Um, good for like being a palette cleanser, just like Painted Leaves is for me during the fall. This is a good one for winter. It's kind of a cooling, um, and then you have greens in it but they aren't necessarily like pine evergreen greens, but it's nice and not a super strong one. I don't know if I would get more of it, but I did enjoy it. Then we have sugar plum berry. This is similar to um, blue Christmas, which was our sense of the season, one of the scents of the season last year, actually since I just did use that one up. Let me see if I can tell the difference. So Blue Christmas, so this was last year, and this is Sense of the Season this year. And they both kind of smell like Nest um, Holiday. So that one is Blue Christmas. Okay, they are very similar. This one is, the Sugar Plum Berry is slightly sweeter, but they are both those like very astringent, aggressive <laughs> type of evergreen mixed with spice and some orange like citrus notes. But you also get a slight more sweetness to the sugar plum berry compared to, compared to Blue Christmas anyway. Um, it's fine. It's not a super, not a super fan, but I'm enjoying it while I have it. I think I just have this bar I may or may not pick another one up. I don't know. Then another autumn road trip. Like I said, that's my favorite. And then last but not least, I'm actually ending on one that isn't Scentsy. This is from Kringle Candle, their country candle line, Cozy Cabin. This one's delicious. At one point in time, it was their number one best-selling scent. I don't know if it is anymore, but it's beautiful. It's a uh, smoky, woodsy, a little bit of marshmallow, vanilla-y. It is a cozy, sweet type scent. It's very nice. So that's Cozy Cabin. And that's it, you guys. So that's what I've been getting through the last few weeks. I, it was a lot, like I said, fall and winter. Um, but I've been enjoying the fact that I am moving into my winter stuff. Although fall, if I had to pick like a favorite melting season, fall scents tend to be my favorite now. It used to be like summer because I used to be a lot more of a fruit. I still love fruity scents, but I was like hardcore fruity, um, like bright fruity scents compared to what I am now. I still love fruity. Obviously, you know, I'm an apple girl, so apple, you know, fall, fruity type scents, those sort of things. So I do love fruity still, but I've, I've noticed my nose preferences have changed over the years. So it's interesting how our noses do that. Um, so let me know what you've been getting through if you want to down in the comments. I appreciate you all. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.